you had to probably compete against Dave. There's a lot of people that know his legacy and know who he was and watch him wrestle. But to actually compete against Dave was, was something entirely different, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Olympic and world champion wearing the red, Dave Schultz. Olympic and world champion wearing the blue, Kenny McDay. You know, of course, I had guys like Nate Carr that, that was one of my toughest competitors ever. And, arrived at Russell in the, in, the, in the Olympic finals but Dave was just he was he was he was a, a a cunning competitor you know this is the most anticipated bout of the evening I remember the changing of the guards when Kenny Monday finally broke through that Schultz mystique but Dave Schultz has been on a resurgence he has come back with a vengeance he was crafty his, the way his mind worked he was he was four or five steps ahead of you. You know, you had to be you had to think of those steps. You had to think down the road. You, know, you couldn't think one move here or one position here. You had to think about five or six positions after the position you got into, you know. So you had to yeah, it was it was it was a huge mental growth to compete with them. Talking earlier with Chris Orpel, who's known Dave Schultz. Since he started in wrestling, he says that it just seems Kenny Monday gears up more than anything else to wrestle Dave Schultz. Uh, I, knew, I knew when Dave was stepping left, I knew when he was stepping right. I knew when he was reaching left, I knew when he was, you know, so I, I knew him as I, I studied him. Just his, under, his understanding of, of, of positions. You watch my Olympic match, and the, and the move that I won, that was a tech, that was something that I watched for what I have to do on Dave, but Dave scored in that position. At the end of the day, he was about the sport of wrestling. He was about trying to advance the sport of wrestling. You know, in training camp, he was one of, one of the my go-tos. He was a guy that, that, you know, if I needed to train any time of day, any time of night, he would be there. So he was selfless in that, in that regard. And I think most people probably know that, but until you actually experience it, a guy that was willing to give in that, situation you know that, that, that's something that I don't think people really understand you know the depth of who he was as a man you know he brought out the best of me you know he took me to a place that that uh, I, I wasn't for sure that, that I could go um, and so he, he really brought out the best of me